done by Jerry Yamba. Bye, y'all, bye, y'all. Yamila Garaba, Yamba Yama. Hello and welcome. Welcome, friends. It's good to see you all. Welcome to the land of the Baromedical of the Dark Speaking Nation. I am the great granddaughter of Patagran, Grangran, and Wulwe Benamong. I welcome you on behalf of my ancestors. Here we are today to officially open this new housing complex built by Evolve Housing and going to be managed by Northcott. And it's uh, a wonderful day. We were here about 18 months ago turning the sod on the soil to, open, to start the construction. So it's great to be back here now with a finished building that's now being occupied. Disability housing is an area of high need. Currently one in five Australians and some 32% of community, community housing tenants have some type of disability. With a growing and ageing population, the need for disability housing projects will definitely increase, as will the need for disability housing that is designed and built to meet the needs of occupants across their entire lifetime. This innovative disability housing project was funded by Evolve Housing and the Australian Government under the Supported Accommodation Innovation Fund initiative. The home has been awarded Platinum Certification, which is the highest level, level of livable housing design certification. And we manage a number of uh, housing um, services across the state, but this is unique. As Andrea said, this is the first where this is really people's home, uh, where they can be in their home like everyone else can. And Andy is a young man who works, who's mad about sport, who parties, who has lots of friends, who does a range of other things, and now he has a home. First week I was still a bit nervous when I moved in, um, but I'm feeling a lot more confident now and able to do everything myself and live independently, even though mum keeps ringing me every couple of days or hours to check I'm still alive. Also living here it's close to work so um, if it's good weather I usually just um, take the wheelchair down to work instead of driving which saves a lot on fuel which is helpful but basically without places like this it wouldn't be possible for me to take the next step that I needed to do for the independence and be able to live on my own. So thank you to Evolve Housing and Northcott. When you hear the simple things that uh, that uh, this house and uh, this establishment will bring to people like Andy. That's what really is the most powerful message today. For my parliamentary colleagues who are here, John Ajaka, the New South Wales Minister for Disability Services, Jan McLucas, my Federal Senate colleague, Sophie Kotsis, it is uh, a mark for Evolve and for Northcott of the regard with which you are held across the parliamentary sphere that uh, we are all able to be here today, all of us with a very important and passionate commitment to the work that you both do. In a strange way, yesterday I was watching The Wizard of Oz with daughter number six. I have six daughters. Daughter number six being the youngest. And the whole, uh, you know, for the first time watching it as Minister for Disability Services, I suddenly realised that the entire theme of the movie was going home. The entire theme of the movie was being home, having the right to be home. And really, this is what this is all about. This is what these great organisations of Evolve and Northcott put together. You created a home, a home for Andy, a home for the other residents, and a home for Andy's family and the families of the other residents to come and visit because everyone has a right to live within their home. We celebrate the opening of this magnificent home where people will live 
independently, equally, accessibly and freely.